What is going on guys, Mortal T here and today I have got <coughs> another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One and today I am going to be showing you a PvP base I have built on my single player to try and give you guys some help and some ideas and as you can tell it's a miserable day, it's raining but beautiful stars in the sky but yeah, anyway, let's get down to it Oh, purple drop. I don't get drops anymore. That's a boring. Right, as you can see, it's here. Whoop. I haven't actually hidden it, because there's no point on a single player. I'll just pull it in like an open area, flat area, so you can get an idea. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's like four, four high. Yeah, that's the outside. <coughs> Playing on the outside, I haven't really done a lot of aesthetics. I haven't put the plant species X or the metal spikes that I'd usually put around. I just wanted to get the basics out of the way, the main the inner base and everything. <coughs> but without further ado, let's get into it first. I need to equip everything back on my toolbar because it is really annoying me that I haven't got everything there. Let's put this down here. Let's try that. And then, right. Right, here we go. One door, two door. Yes, two doors. You can have double walls. If you don't know how to do it, I will do an episode on it. If you like, just drop me a comment and I will do it. But the idea of that is you have double walls so it's harder to break <coughs> through if. Oh, double walls. If they break this outer one, it doesn't affect this inner one. So if they break that one, they got to get through another one. Crap out. And these doors are a bit annoying, but they do help. Now, we will always have a door like this. <coughs> then other doors right after it. It's, got, it's like an airlock system. If that's open, and none of these are, no one else can get into the base. If someone do, is, does come behind you and just runs in after you, they still can't get into these doors. So make sure you close the first doors before you open anything else. <coughs> yeah. Always do it. Always close the doors behind you, but I'm not going to because I'm just showing you around. Yeah, this is it. All, all the outside is double walls. Now, usually you can't do it, but I found a little trick that you can actually get double walls on the outside edge as well. Pretty cool. Yeah, it goes all the way round, because then it's, it's, got, it's in layers, so if they do get through this first layer, they've got to get through another layer just to, <coughs> to get through. Yeah, it's all the way through. It's just too high. Up here, we have... Yeah, see, so open properly. See? Double floors. With double hatches. See? Double floors. Double walls here. You can see they don't really come up as high because of what I did, but you can still open this window, get your gun out, and look around. You can even go up, look down, and it also makes it hard for, you to, uh, for them to shoot you because you've got this little ledge here. You can also close it, and another one. I am going to put all these, uh, I probably will put all these around eventually. But I do, I've just done them two to show you. Right, put the gun away. Another one. Look, you can see these double walls here. There's a wall there, and there's a wall behind it. See? But this one's actually come up. There's a wall there, and a wall behind that one. But you've got a door here. It leads on to your turrets. You should always put your turrets on, like, catwalks. And on the very edge, so they've got the maximum range of everything. So when they, like, turn around, they can... They get to about this edge and they can't find them all, but then it's picked up by another one and it gets to that edge and yeah, so on and so forth. Yeah. Unfortunately, I did try and put a double wall here, but it just won't let me. I don't know why, it just won't snap properly. That's the only weak point, but that's why I have the uh, airlock system in place. If they do get through this door, they still got to get through them and these, and these are all double doors. You basically want to frustrate them. <laughs> frustrate them enough. 
so they'll just get bored eventually going through after door after door to see where they lead and here's the other turret I've only put four on you can put more on if you really wanted to but as you can see I'm actually two floors up now two floors up and this just goes all the way around all the time and this is where it ends another door here that leads on to another turret so on and so forth right. now these can be sometimes annoying to close but if you close like the out one first see there's still a little thing here then you look into the corner it says close it's actually, it's actually pretty handy it does that uh, this way <laughs> but these are just easy if you're facing the way you can just do this easy and it's a lot of doors and now you probably will get frustrated but it's just it's good to get into a habit where you close all the doors behind you because you never know what can happen crap close thank you now open open that one let's go down close them got these here so this goes all the way around then you got this little ladder here There's some more there's nothing back here but this door right here leads onto the other turret like that so there's like there's a, there's plenty of ways out but plenty of ways out and you haven't seen the middle the middle is where it goes on Can I close this? Close, there we go. The middle is where it goes on. But you're trying to make it hard to get through. So if they go for this, they've got to go through that. And that's a double wall. This is a double wall. So but they're mainly they usually try and go through the doors. If they're just like an alpha tribe, they usually if they've got enough stuff, they just will blow through the walls, but it's pretty hard. So let's go up. This is where I've done it mainly. Close. Hang on a minute. I don't know if you can, guys can see this, but eh, let me do this. Uh, can you see? No, you can't quite see it, can you? But believe it or not, there is actually a triple floor here. Triple floors. I managed to do a triple floor. There's one. Two. There is another one. See there. Right there. See one. You just open that one. Open that one. Triple security on the floors. Triple floors everywhere. Right. Yeah. Now this is the inside of the base. You can put more stuff like mortar and pestles, a bit of storage or whatever. But you've got your main, you've got your fabricator. And yes, this does go... Oh, saving the game. This does go through the roof. But it doesn't really matter because they cannot damage it from up there anyway. Because there is another layer on top of us that stops them from getting... On the top and coming down, it means they've got to go from the top, break that layer, just to get into this layer. And if, because of the way I've built it, they do come in the top, they've still got to go through... If they go through the top layer, then this layer here, they've still got to go through this layer and another layer to get to where you are, because I've made like a bunker inside it. So if you open this, I'll show you. Jenny is actually down another floor. Let me close these. Wrong way. Close that one first, please. Thank you. Then close that. <laughs> what did that say? Ah, oh, just demolish. But yeah, I made this so <laughs> they're going to get confused where to go. They don't know where to go. I know this is all close quarters. They're probably like thinking, where the hell could they gone? Like, oh, in here. No, because you can't get through. But you can. If you close that door, you can actually come in. And you can hide in here. So if people come in, and they do find the little trick with the door where you can actually get in. This is so close quarters. If you've got a gun or a pike or a sword or something, you can easily just hit them. And they, they've got nowhere to escape, really, because it's so close quarters. It happens on the other side as well. There is a little trick of getting in. You just shut the door and come in here. And you're done, you're in, you're safe. For now. Open this. Close this. Well, this is the door where you want to go. This is where everything is. Aha! Another trap door. 
Let's go down. These doors are supposed to be closed. <laughs> okay. Pretend that's closed. So you come down, and they're like, what the hell? They're facing, like, what, a wall? And you look around. And the door is behind the ladder. So you open it, double doors, as always, and they come in. Now, this is the bottom of the base. There's nowhere else to go after this, but it's like a bunker because they've got to get through several layers each way to penetrate this bit. And these these walls here are all way all double. So if they need to try and blow that in here, try and blow this bit. If they do manage to get rid of these walls, it doesn't matter because there's another set of walls after that that they'll have to blow and come and get you. But this is so close quarters. If you've got like some of your tribe down here. You can hide around the corner and they don't even know. You can you can hear them open the doors. So all you do, you sneak round. Because when you know they're in, you can just go after them. And if you're clever enough, if they come in and they're like, look, and they're accessing the generator, you can actually close the door so they can't get out. But you can get them, which is pretty handy. And I had to put the Jenny down here, but I couldn't put it anywhere else, so you can't get to the other side, unfortunately. But one side is enough you've got plenty of space here you can fit what one two three four you can fit like six or seven people down here probably more if you don't mind freaking out in the open but i don't eh, someone might see you from am this pillar but that is it but yeah guys that is the way i built it that's the way i would build a base because you got s oh crap i just shut myself in all right shut that one shut that one let's go up yeah, but it just means you've got layers of protection over and over again. And then you, if you do get, like, encased in your base, you've got somewhere to go. Like, the bomb shelter down there, the bunker, right in the middle. And it's still surrounded by a lot of walls and a lot of ceilings. So, it, they can't destroy... They can destroy the whole base, but it means a lot and a lot of explosives. And they don't usually. They just usually try and penetrate a certain area and get in because of the double walls and everything i've made it harder so if they get in they penetrate one side they've still got to get through another set of walls or ceilings to get to you so they're either going to get bored and give up or get frustrated and give up but if it's a whole tribe of them and they've got the resources they will get you no matter what it doesn't matter how good your base is but first they've got to get through all your defenses on the outside so all you do is put you'd put up more windows so your tribe could shoot out of you'd have your turrets you could have more of them if you really wanted to you'd have your plant species x on the outside you'd have your metal spikes on the outside and if well you can have it out in the open if you really want to but it's probably best if you had hidden something like this is pretty big but in like in dense forest like over there Oh, I've gone off. <laughs> Let's just do this. I don't want to fall down there and not be able to get back up. So I'll just type in the command. Okay, that's weird. Just type in the command so I can go back up. <laughs> well, like I say, but in the dense forest over there, seeing a structure like that is going to be pretty hard if you don't knock any of the trees down. So you're going to be pretty well hidden. And if someone stumbles across you, the guns will just go off and the plants the plants will just go off. So you're all right. But yeah, it's just layers and layers. But if you want actual uh, tricks on how I did the double walls and double doors and stuff, just uh, give me a comment down below and I'll do them. I'll show you like an easy way to do them. Because it is actually easy, but I've only ever seen people do like double walls on the inside layer. Because this is like a foundation, then you've got another foundation, which is pretty easy. It's on the outside layer, where it's hard to do. But I did it. It's actually pretty easy. Oh, shut the doors. Always make sure you shut your doors. But yeah, let's go here. I've got to get a good angle on this now to say bye to you guys. Right, there we go. I'm running on air. <laughs> right whatever <laughs> but yeah that is it guys if you've got some ideas that you want me to check out drop a comment down below and i'll check them out and sometimes i may even have improvements on them 
And if I do, I'll make a video to let you guys know. And I can't stand on this Quetzal because he moves way too much. Let's do this and zoom out. Let's do that. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is what I would design a PvP base sort of like layers, double walls, triple ceilings. As you did see, there is a triple ceiling in there, and that's going to take a while to get through. But yeah, uh, that is it, guys. If you like this episode and want to see more like PvP tips and tricks or more PvP videos, I am trying to get them out to you guys, but it is hard at the moment because the server hasn't reset. But once it's reset, I'll hopefully get a decent amount of footage and I can just keep showing you. But if you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to show that like button. Who is boss by punching it in the face to let me know that you like them. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. So that is it guys, I am Mortal T and I am out.